Today in soybeans, they were higher. The futures really show some optimism that a deal is at hand. That China Ag Ministry reported that there's confidence that something's going to get done. You know, along with that positive uh, re uh, report from the export sales, that really advanced the futures kind of to the top of the consolidated uh, channel for soybeans. Corn was also up. The ethanol production is increasing. Really, in the face of poor margins, I think everyone's kind of scratching their head about that. But the market was uh, was strong. You know, who knew? I think there could be some overflow buying from the real lead story today that came out of wheat. But corn also did well uh, in their export sales report. So that uh, is something that was keeping the market up. But make no mistake, that gap below where the market jumped up after the, uh, after the report is still looming. And so I think some traders are concerned that at some point we're going to fill that gap and that would really pull the market back quite a bit. Wheat rallied today. It was, uh, it was the big winner on the uh, USDA report. Report. very bullish it was uh, it, it really the export sales really exceeded much more than uh, what was expected and also you know that Russia uh, slowed down and that Russia supply chain uh, definitely added to it as well and I think that there's a little bit of short covering as we keep moving higher so uh, today as the market ends this uh, week this shortened week uh, with the death of the president uh, really ends on a high note for all the grains